Trina here from Scrappy Horses. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I am so happy you're here. This week, I am a guest designer over at Dragonfly Dreams Challenge, where the theme is die cuts. How perfect for someone who loves to hang out in Cricut Design Space, right? So I chose to make a die cut collage style card. And I started out in Cricut Design Space using Flower Bloom from Kate's ABCs. Flower Stem is from a couple of combined image. Rectangles are just from shapes. And the film strip frame camera tags are all from close to my heart in full bloom. Here you can see it all laid out. The rectangle shapes are simply my card base and layering pieces. And one piece that I'm going to be using with this collage style tissue paper from Ranger Tim Holtz. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start out by cutting that or actually just tearing it. And I'm laying that piece of cardstock on top and just simply tearing down the side. And you'll see here, I'm just gonna lay the ruler on again. I'm just lining up the top of the tissue with the top of the card and tearing along the edges. Since this is sort of a distressed kind of looking card, I uh, decided tearing would be great. I'm gonna wrap up those extra pieces and put them in the tube and keep for a later project. I'm coming in with some Liquitex and I'm using white. I'm just painting over that white card stock and laying my tissue on, trying to get it as a uh, wrinkle-free as possible, although again, it's sort of distressed looking, so it would be okay if it had a few wrinkles. And then I'm going to paint over the top. And the reason I'm doing that is because I want to knock back that dark black and turn it more into a gray. So I chose the um, white gel versus the clear for this task. I'm gonna come in now and use that leftover Liquitex that I had, and I'm gonna combine it with some ink. I'm just sort of taking the ink, uh, the sponge pad, and dabbing it onto an ice cream lid, and then mixing in the Liquitex. Now, I liked this peachy color, which was what I was after, but I wanted it just a little bolder. So I came in with some orange ink and just put it down on some cereal liner. I like to use cereal liner. You know me, I use cereal board for everything. So I have the, the inside pouches or liners too. So I just use those for my painting and then I can just throw them away. I also like to put them between pages in my books actually, uh, when I'm working on that too, to protect the other pages. Now I'm gonna come in and do the same thing with the yellow. And again, I wanted a little more yellow, so I'm just gonna dip it right into some yellow ink that I'm just sponging right onto that cereal wrapper there. And uh, I'll set those aside to dry, and now I can just throw this away. I'm gonna come in and do some embossing on one layer of this camera piece. I just press the whole thing into the embossing pad and then sprinkled with powder and now I have it embossed. This piece, all right, let's talk about it. I cut this upside down on um, my Cricut mat on the intricate setting. So what I did, if you look here, you can see this is the right side and you can see all of that white showing through. But what I did is I reversed it before I cut it. So this is the side that was actually facing the mat and it cut beautifully, nice and black, no white spots on it. All right, so I'm coming in now and I'm gonna glue these pieces together. I'm using a little fabric tack on this one. This is an easy one. On the next one, however, that was a little tricky. How I did it is I used a Barely Arts Precision Tip Glue, got out a magnifying glass, and uh, just very slowly glued it in place. All right, so there's that magnifying glass. And I did not record that because you would have seen my head in the entire shot. I'm gonna lay it upside down, put a block over the top, and just let that set and dry. I'm gonna add a little bit more color to the outside of this bloom. 
Uh, just ink it up a little bit. I'm going to do the same thing to the inner yellow circle. And then I'm adding the little brown one to the middle of that piece. I'm going to set that aside then. And we'll come back to it again in a minute. Coming in with a stamp, and I'm just stamping some texture over this one little tag, as well as going around the edges. And then I've got my little smile tag, and I'm sorry I got off screen there. And I'm just coming in just very lightly going around that, just to knock back the white and turn it a little more beige. All right, I'm gonna come in now and simply add some double score tape and fabric tack, and we're gonna start putting the layers of the card together. It's an easy put together here. We're just gonna put the tape on, the glue, and just press it right into place. Now, a little hint for you. I like to take a picture of my project on my phone and then set that aside, and that helps me get everything into place. This little gold dot is just, you saw me uh, die cut that, or not die cut it, but just punch it actually with that little hole punch. And uh, that made the little center for my circle. Here again, I'm referring to my phone, which is off on the right. You can't see it, but I'm just referring to that. It shows me pretty much where everything is. I just take a picture of my computer screen where I do the layout in um, Cricut Design Space. It just sort of helps keep me on track. I'm just adding a little fabric tack, placing all these die cuts into place. And pretty simple, just using a little bit of that fabric tack. Now I'm coming in with a popcorn box and I just wanna set that up above the camera there just to kind of level it out. And then I've got my little stem that I'm gonna stick under. So you can see that little piece of cardboard is sitting above the camera. That way it lifts it up and it can lay over flat. I'm going to add a few little gems around just for some sparkle. Now for the inside. This is a lot of fun. I am going to take this camera and just stamp it directly onto this piece that I've already gone around and distressed a little bit with some ink. Then I'm going to mask it off and then I'm going to frame over it and then when I peel the mask off, you'll see that the camera is in front of the frame. This is always a fun technique. All right, so you'll see I'm just going to use some light brown for that. And then I will bring in a stamp that says Joy and stamp that within that frame. And you'll see that all here in just a minute. Hey, thanks so much for joining me. I'm so happy you spent some time with me. I, I really do appreciate the time that you spend watching my videos. Have a wonderful, wonderful week. Any comments or questions, please leave them below and I'll get back with you. Always happy to help. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.